What's up YouTube? It's David here and back by popular demand. It's Jones Company Customs. Uh, tonight we're going to try to laser engrave some aluminum. Uh, laser etch, maybe I should call it. Laser engrave. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the difference is. Uh, if any of you guys consider um, engraving and etching different, please leave a comment and tell me what you think about the differences. Um, Either way, we're going to try to put a mark on some quarter inch aluminum plate tonight and see what happens. Uh, so far, all I've done is wood with this laser, and I did the, uh, the Husqvarna logo that you guys saw. And I also did this the other night, uh, just burned my logo, just kind of a, a test run. I do a lot of test runs. That's pretty much all I've really done so far. I'm still learning a lot about CNC. And uh, so I'm, I'm doing a lot of test runs. I'm just playing around with the machine, with the laser, with the router. I'm having fun. And maybe one day I will actually produce a finished product. I don't know. You guys will just have to stay tuned and find out how far I take this thing. Uh, but, yeah, I made that. I ran it a little hot down there at the bottom, and I think my feed rate was a little low. And so I, I restarted it and didn't run my uh, ran my feed rate a little faster, and it did a lot better. So um, it's actually removing material there. There's like quite a bit of material that's that's removed right there. That I mean, that's like a good sixteenth or so, I would say. I mean, almost an eighth inch of material right there. I'm gonna try to cut some some plywood soon with this. I think. I have seen people try to cut like thin plywood with this laser, and uh, I don't know if they've had much luck. But maybe that maybe that should be another video here soon. Let's try to cut some plywood with the laser soon. So let me get my, get my hands on some material, and we will try that very soon. <clears throat> so tonight we're going to try to put a mark on aluminum. Uh, this is quarter inch aluminum plate. I've just sanded down the surface a little bit, make it nice and shiny and fresh and new looking. Um, I've got the laser, uh, we're going to do my logo, or we're going to do this right here, try to 50 millimeters wide by 50 millimeters tall, so pretty small, nothing too crazy, we just want to see if we can do it. Um, I've got my feed rate set to 125 millimeter uh, a minute, which is roughly 5 inches a minute, so it's pretty slow, that's a super slow feed rate. And laser intensity should be set at 100%. And I'm running this program in Laser GRBL, uh, which is pretty much the own. It is the only laser software that I've used so far. And so far, I like it. It's free software. Um, you know, I know a lot of people use Lightburn, and I'm definitely going to try Lightburn at some point. But you know, give Laser GRBL a download and try it out and see what you think. And and you can also let me know about that in the comments as well. So without further ado, as much as you guys like to hear me talk, I'm sure, you're not actually watching this channel to hear me talk. You want to see this laser go. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this go button, and I'll talk to you guys again when it's done. Okay, guys, there was a slight miscalculation there, so now I'm going to hit the go button. All right, guys. Well, it looks like we're all finished up here. Let me uh, let me jog this machine up a little bit, and we we'll see what the results are.
Well, it doesn't look promising. Let's take a closer look here. The 7 watt laser did absolutely nothing to this aluminum plate. Well, you know what? To be honest, that's about what I expected. Uh, at the end of the day, this is just a 7 watt laser. Uh, it's not a fiber laser, it's not a CO2 laser, so um, I didn't really expect it to even leave a mark on this aluminum, and it didn't. So, uh, but you know what? That's okay. Um, I wanted to do this test anyways. Uh, a, a commenter in one of my other videos wanted to see if this laser would leave a mark on aluminum, and uh, I didn't think that it would, and this just confirmed that for me. So I, I hope that uh, you guys take away something from this. Um, if anybody out there is running this same exact laser and has any success in leaving any kind of mark on aluminum plate like this or you know please leave a comment and enlighten us all on how you're doing it because I had this I mean I think my feed rate was was plenty slow it was it was just barely creeping and uh, like I said laser intensity was dialed all the way up to a hundred percent and it didn't even leave a mark but um, now in the future I think what I want to try is I'm going to either paint or anodize some aluminum plate and see if I can get this laser to uh, remove that paint or the anodized layer on some aluminum and see if we can get it to, to leave a mark like that and I think we might have some more success uh, doing things that way so and that opens up a whole new avenue of content that I can bring you guys on this channel. Um, I've done a little research on anodizing aluminum at, at home, and it's pretty simple. So uh, go check it out. Check out some other YouTube videos on how to anodize aluminum at home and tell me what you think. And we're definitely going to try that here in the future. Um, I don't know if we're going to be doing it soon, but I think we're going to be doing it at some point, and it will be as soon as possible. So... That's what we. That's a wrap tonight, guys. That's what we figured out tonight. Um, this seven watt laser will not leave a mark on aluminum. So, um, you know, we live and we learn. Part of doing the CNC work is trial and error and trying do th new things and seeing what these machines will do. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please leave a comment and tell me what you think about this video and what you want to see in the future. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and please hit that subscribe button and subscribe to this channel and see what all kind of all kind of cool stuff we get into in the future thanks for tuning in guys i'll catch you next time